more you've been so far? Hopefully mostly uneventful, yeah? Well, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Well, come on in, you guys, we're just getting started. Welcome to Barbell Strength, 9.30 Tuesday morning. This is the 45-minute edition of Barbell Strength. Uh, my name is Erin Stoney. I used to be your strength coach today. And uh, if you're looking for it, let's quick talk about what is going to happen to your life for the next 45 minutes. Okay? Um, yeah, I love it. I know, you guys are so friendly though. I love that she like, catch up with each other and, and like, no, y'all in each other's business, ain't you? Yeah, you in each other's business. Alright guys, for the next 45 minutes, here is what we are doing. We are lifting weights to music. Boom, ha, that nailed it right there. Cool. Okay, that being said, what equipment do you need? You can see on stage here, I have the basic set for the bench with a couple of risers. We have the mat pulled up and off to the side. We do not need that mat until the very end of class today. Um, you're going to have your barbell iron grip equipment, which is directly in the back of the room there. You've got your barbell loaded up for warm up. That means you've got about five pounds, something like that, on each side so that you will not fatigue during warm up. That is the goal. Warm up is to get your body moving and grooving, not to fatigue it. Um, I have your clips on, they're nice and tight. Make sure every time you take them off and put them back on again that they are put back on tightly. You have a smack of weights around you so that we can switch up weights somewhat quickly in between working sets. Sound good? Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, there we go. I got a little zest on that one. All right, guys, today's objective. We like to have an objective in this class to be able to at least one thing to kind of focus on. Um, and today's objective is going to revolve around our squat track. Okay, our squat track is our first working set of this class, and today it is our beast track. Okay, if you know me, you know what that means. That's the tough one. We're going to get it done right away. Okay, the objective of that track is going to be to understand the difference between taking a rest break and doing a quit. I know that didn't sound grammatically correct, did it? Cool, we're gonna understand the difference. It is always okay if you need to take a quick rest break and skip a rep or two. It is never okay for us to quit because that's a mental thing. That's not a physical thing, that's a mental thing. When we quit, our brain checks out, we tell ourselves we're not capable of doing something and we check out. So let's understand the difference between that. If you need to take a rest, rep or two, that is okay, that is encouraged if need be. Other than that, are you guys ready? Yeah, I'll be cool. <laughs> what you do today? All right, guys. We are always starting with our five point stance. That begins with our feet. We don't need any equipment in our hands just yet. Feet are hit with the bar. Lift the heels up and let them feel the ground. Let your toes kind of push. Almost like you're in the sand. Knees are soft. Hips are nice and pliable now. Chest up, chin up. All we're going to do is squat down and up. Why is she clapping at me? What's that about? All right, feel your body out today. How is it? How are the hips? How are the knees? Yeah, it's like a checking moment. Like, okay, what am I prepared to do today? Awesome. With each rep, you can get a little bit deeper into that squat, but you're going to keep good form before we put any weight on our back. Make sure you can feel the ground underneath your heels, but your toes are helping stabilize. Pulse at the bottom. Uh -huh. Hold it here. Hold it here. Over here. Three, two, take it up. Break back down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to do that two more times. Here we go. Seven, four, three, two. Good. One more. That's it. Feeling out the butt muscles. Get the squeeze now. Pay attention to them. Three, two. Good. Take it on up. Go ahead and grab your bar now. You're going to grab it with the hands just outside of the hips. Back to the five point stance. Down two, up two, RPO looks like this. Down for two, and up. But now if you are new to this movement, here's what you're doing. You're dragging the barbell along your thigh. Yes. Sexy time with the barbell. Keep your knees slightly bent. Stick your butt out as far as you can to the back. The weight stays in the heels, but again, the toes are stabilizing. It's like you're in the sand. All right. We're not going too deep, okay? Not yet. All right, moving on. Singles down and up. Hup, hup, boom. Good. Like keeping that chin somewhat elevated. Feel the difference if you tuck it under. All of a sudden, you're like, oh, this is not. It doesn't feel good, does it? No. Good. You're resetting in the middle. Squeeze your butt. 
butt cheeks on the top, get them to start warming up. Four, now three, two, go ahead, upright, row two and two, here we go. And down. Ooh. Are your knees still bent? Good, always double checking that we're in a good formation, a good stance. Elbows are not above the bar the whole time. Pull in the belly button. Singles up and down, here we go. Hop and down. All right, we're starting with a focus on the delts, but go ahead and try something a little different. Squeeze your upper back together, the lower or the shoulder blades coming together, standing tall. You are in control of your body the whole time today. Just have to be mindful of how that happens. Four more. Three more. Good, then you're gonna tuck your elbows under. Two and two, overhead press. Go up and down. Ooh. Can you feel how your shoulder does some stretching as you go up? Locking the joints at the top so that the barbell is directly over your head. If you drop it, you get a concussion. Singles, up and down. Good, so your head is popping forward just a little bit. That puts you in a good resting position at the top. Four, three, show me a triple at the top. It goes three, two, and one. Bring it down. Good. You are going to need this later today. A triple pulse is something we use a lot today. Staying at the top of that motion. Good. Bring it down on your back. Right here. Find a soft spot. Not on any bones, but on the muscles. Feet are braced. Down to up to squats. Here we go. Down. And up. Good, down, and up. Singles up and down. Up and down, up and down. Good, get a feel for this. Here's the deal, did you notice that we switched? Instead of going down and up, now you're going up and down. You're gonna need this today. We're gonna put the script a little on the directions we take. So, up and down, up and down. You're gonna try a triple at the top. Ready? It goes like this, three, two, and down. This is the push on our squats later, so feel it out right now. We're not going to let the knees lock out. We're going to keep the legs and the thighs moving and grooving. Just do it four more times to feel it out. Hook. And down. Keeping that chest presented. Oh, I've got a story for you about a chest presenting at the Jimmy Buffett concert on Saturday. Oh, my Lord. Good. Go ahead and bring it down. Hold it right here. Four. Three, two, good. Stand up tall, bring the barbell around. Bring it down to the front. Good, bend over. Pull it in and down. Bench over row to finish up. Good, four, three, two, and one. So Jimmy Buffett Saturday. There was a lot of inappropriate shenanigans. Yes, there were. There was a game being played, set up for squats here, tens, twelves, fifteens per side. The beast trap is coming at us, okay? There were a bunch of shenanigans there. Let me just tell you this about the most inappropriate game I saw. It was match the bra to the picture. And I'll just let you do your own visualizing. Yes. Say, so, yeah, how many minutes? Oh, yes. You always keep me on the you my girl. All right, guys, for our squat track, it's five minutes and 15 seconds of work. There are three pushes. They are actually very close together. Okay, we have a long intro, long beginning piece. Make sure that you do have a good amount of weight, though, because your legs can take it, man. They really can't. You see how beautiful and powerhouse they are? They're still like stressed. They are. Okay, once you're ready, get that barbell on the soft spot of your back, okay? All right, my friends, catch that beat in your head right away. Down two, up two. Down for two, and up for two, again. Beautiful, please show me eight singles, down and up. Up. Beautiful, double check that your body's still moving good in that position. Chest piece presented. <laughs> now you can't get it out of your head, can you? Down three, up one. Three. Two, bottom, and top. Try again. Three, two, bottom, top. Good. Make sure it's not jarring. It's smooth, but the last one is powerful. Ha! Down, 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 down. Pop it up. Good. Three, two, bottom, top. Good. On that 
single count, that's the powerhouse muscles. Boom, yes, quick twitch muscles. Beautiful, keep going. And up. Now, eye rolls are gonna stay up, right? You can maintain eye contact with yourself in the mirror the whole time. Keep the hips dropping down. One more like that. Switch it down one, up three, here we go. Up, up, down. Three, two, and one. We switched where the powerhouse count was now. Down. Smooth on the way up. Keep going if you know it. Sing it.
exercise or using big, big muscles during a squat track, okay? That naturally happens, because big muscles need lots of oxygen. But if you're holding your breath, that might be what's happening, yep. Try not to hold your breath during any of our tracks, okay? If you find yourself doing that, just correct it, okay? Yeah, totally. You're working so hard. I mean, you're so captivated by the things I see you, I'm sure. All right, my friends, bring it up now. You've got a wide grip on your barbell. Okay, go all the way to the end, all the way to the end like this, if you can, please. Starting at the bottom. One, two, top and bottom. So it goes three, two, top and bottom with a very wide grip. Very wide grip. Feet are flat. Belly button is pulled into that bench. You are stable and you're letting the pectorals work. Three, two, up and down. Now here's the cool thing. That squat track push, we've got the same pattern for this one. Good. All right, it's already here. Take it to the top, triple. Three, two, and down. Three, two, keep that barbell going straight up and down. the bra to the picture. <laughs> now, because we don't have a huge range of motion when we have a wide grip, go ahead and do a full half rep down each time. Beautiful. You've got four more with a triple. And down. Two more. Two more. One more. One more. Then you're going into singles. Up and down. You are in control the whole time. Four, nice wide grip. Three, two, good. Bring it to the bottom, switch your grip, you're coming in. You are gonna be right here. You are shoulder width apart maximum. Three, two, top and bottom. Three, two, top and bottom. Three, two. This is your narrow grip chest press. Go ahead and let your triceps start to feel the work. Three, two, one, and down. Good, so your elbows are tucked in, but they can flare out just a little bit, that's okay. Top, bottom. Now, make sure both of your hands are on the smooth part of the bar. Belly button is still pulled in. Be patient. That push is coming again. One more. Awesome. Triple at the top. Here we go. Three, two, and down. Three, two, and down. If you're holding it right, your triceps are already unhappy. Yes. And up, up, and down. Beautiful. Remember, there's a difference between a rest rep and a quick rep, huh? What's the difference? Today. 
Um, go ahead and get ready for bath. Okay, for bath. You need to set this up in a particular way. You can leave your barbell here. I'm just going to leave, uh, I think I have 7.5 per side, 10, also appropriate. Um, second thing you need to do, however, is grab a couple of five pound plates and create a bikini top on your bench. It's always coming back to that match the picture to the bra. It seems to be our theme today. Throwing things at me now. <laughs> All right, my friends, backtrack today. Four minutes and 30 seconds of love. Three pushes. Be ready to rock and roll because this one's kind of fast and furious. Just be ready and keep listening to the instructions that I give you. You'll be good to go. Pick up your barbell. Hands are just outside the hips. High point stance. Up to, down to, upright row. Here we go. Up, up. And down. Elbows high. Now this is the backtrack. So make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. And down. You are in control. You control everything in this body. This is your body. It's amazing. Elbows stay high. Switching the singles up and down. Hop, hop. These are nice and soft. You are powerful. You are squeezing that upper back together. 
bump, especially if your lower back kicks in, okay? It's gonna get stronger and stronger. You gotta believe me on that. Unless we have some special circumstances, my loves. Okay, next up is the arm track. Barbell. 2.55, 7.5 will be more than enough. Set up. I don't know, should I tell you, you know? Should I keep it a secret? Do fives. No, we're not doing this one, nope. Okay, here's the deal. With this one, we're gonna sneak it all in. We're gonna start with shoulders. We're gonna sneak into the biceps. And we're gonna finish off with the triceps. Okay, you're gonna get it all. But it's a long song. It's a long song. It's five minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah? Yep, four pushes. Fives is enough. I take off your tenth, Steve. That might be the punch. All right. Getting set up upright row position. Yes, we're starting with the upright row again. It's up to you and down to you. But now instead of having that upper back focus, it's going straight up and down so that it's all down. Good. What about your knees? What are they doing? Awesome. What about your belly button? Where is it? You're like, I don't even know nowadays. I don't even know. I have a true belly button. She goes up and down. Ones that went for 10 rounds, trickle at the top. 
that far. Okay, my friends, very nice job. Shake it out. We have legs two coming at us. Legs two, here's what you need to do. You need to make a choice. You are either using the barbell on your back, 10 pounds per side-ish, or you are hanging onto plates in your hand, I don't know, 10 pounds per side-ish, or you're doing body weight. Make a choice. And then move. Yep. What are you going to need to do? You're going to need to have space in front of you for a forward lunge. This is five minutes and ten seconds of work. No big deal. No big deal. Okay, four pushes, two per side. Do we got all the info? Good, now make a weight in your hands. Let's go. Five point stance is where we start. Lunges, no lunges. Good, go ahead, put that right leg forward. Left heel up, down three, up one, three, two, bottom and top. Good, now everything is nice and tall, bottom and top. All patients on the three, please. Three, two, bottom and top. Good. Go show this, brother. Come on, 
about Aaron's feelings. Let's just be honest, right? You're not here for my feelings. You're here for your muscles. Ha ha! Three, two, bottom, top. When you're at the end of your song, when you're ending the work, that's the hard part. But that's the important part. You need to fight for it right here, right now. Hop and hop before. Oh, you were ready, though. You were ready. Be patient. This is your last push. I'm not going to say a damn word to you. You get inside your head and make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let your abs pull your shoulders off the ground, not 